of us remember the early days of Western blotting. I know it's a neurotoxin, but I've got to pour this gel. Oh no, my gel is leaking. Guess I'll have to pour it again. Bands are a little streaky, but it'll do. No! <sighs> well, I guess there'll be some dirt on this one. This stuff is fragile, so I will handle it carefully. It needs to stay together long enough for me to transfer the protein to my blotting membrane and detect the first protein. You block with some milk and incubate with primary antibody. You've only used it for flow cytometry before, but it should work in a Western, you think. Now for some washes. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You repeat with secondary antibody and more washing. Now it's time to detect your signal. How old is this ECL? Well, too late to figure that out. Ah, <sighs> signal to noise is too low. Again. I guess I'll repeat this tomorrow. If I have more sample left. What happens when you tailor your Western blotting protocol to suit your protein of interest and your lifestyle? Here's what you gain when you rethink Western blotting. I get so much more consistency when I use a true page precast gel. Even my 4% gels don't break when I hold them. Which membrane should I use? Immobilon PVDF has higher protein binding and retention than nitrocellulose, which usually gives me better signal for low expressing proteins. It's also very strong, which is great when I decide to reprobe for a second target. So I'll go with Immobilon E PVDF blotting sandwiches. Immobilon E is the only PVDF that wets out in transfer buffer. It saves me a few steps, and my lab manager appreciates the reduction in organic waste. Time to choose my antibody. I'll go with one that's been validated for Western blotting in my cell line, and I know it's phospho-specific. For phosphoproteins, I should avoid protein-containing blocking reagents. Let me go with Block PO blocking reagent. Forget the rotary shaker. I'm going to do my incubations and washes in the vacuum-driven SNAP-ID system. It'll just suck the reagents through the membrane. 20 seconds for blocking and wash steps? I'll be looking at data 30 minutes from now. My sample in lane two might have high expression of the target, and I don't want the signal to be too high. I'll try the medium sensitive reagent first and re-expose with Forte reagent if it doesn't work. Yes, overexpressed in the mutant. That explains the hairy ears on those mice. These data are ready to present at our meeting this afternoon.